Well, now that the election season is over, experts from the U.S. and Minnesota chambers spoke with the Brainerd Lakes Chambers Government Affairs Committee about their plans for their 2017 agenda with the new administration. Our Logan Ye has more. Experts from the Minnesota and the U.S. Chamber spoke with the Brainerd Lakes Chamber's Government Affairs Committee about the changing political climate. People really wanted to see uh, a change in direction, and that was at the top of the ticket, and we saw that in some local elections, too. And uh, people want to see, they want their voice to be heard. During the election, the Chamber made it a priority to support candidates that understood business. A strong business means a strong community, and we understand that that is true for the economy of our state and so we really have a number of issues that businesses are concerned about so that they can grow and they can expand. The U.S. Chamber said there are endless opportunities for the business community to work with the new administration. I think regulatory reform is going to be a top priority. There's a lot of regulations coming out of Washington that are really hurting local businesses and our small businesses around the country and so I think there's some opportunity um, to, to ease that burden a bit. I think there's opportunities on tax reform um, to, to ease you know, and to, to reform the tax code to make it more friendly for businesses around the country. However, even though the Republicans have gained control of the House and the Senate, political experts say that it will take time before we see anything passed. It's going to take time for the for the various bodies in Washington to liberate the process and to, and, and to navigate, you know, the, the the legislative process. But you know, I think there's a lot of opportunity for a pro-business agenda in Washington and to be very productive. But I just think it's going to take some time. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.